In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create educationally relevant uh, content on iMovie. So to begin with, I'm going to open up the app. I'm going to be basing my project on battles. Um, so I've got a blank project here that's got absolutely nothing in it, but I've just titled it battles to begin with. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some backgrounds. Um, I need an opening title background and then I'm going to base my project on three different battles. So I'm going to choose three different backgrounds for my three different uh, battles. So to begin with, I'm going to use this old world still. Then I'm going to scroll down and just use one of these more generic backgrounds for each one of my battles. So that's one, two and three. Next, I'm going to add some titles to those backgrounds. So I'm going to go up to where it says titles here. As you can see, there are all sorts of different titles that you can choose from, different types of animations and different fonts. I'm going to choose this one for uh, my opening uh, slide here or my opening page. So I'm going to change the title here to Battles Timeline. OK, once I'm happy with that, press Enter. And we've got uh, the opening title done. Now, to do the rest of them, all I need to do is repeat that process. So I'm going to go back to my titles, drag and drop, and then change it to, first of all, the Battle of Hastings. OK, the next one is going to be on the Battle of Boeing. Okay, so far so good, and the last one is going to be the Battle of Waterloo. Okay, so, so far my video consists of backgrounds and titles. There's not really that much educational uh, content in there, but that's what I'll be doing next. Excellent. So in between each background and title card here, I'm going to add some images. So I've got some images here on my desktop that I'd like to use. So I'm going to start by putting in some pictures of the Battle of Hastings. So I'm literally just going to drag and drop them and put them in between this first title card. And again, for the next one, I've got the Battle of Boyne. So I need to choose these images and I'm just going to drag and drop those in between here. And then finally, I would like some images for Waterloo. So I've got these three images here and I'm going to drag and drop them right to the end of my project so that they appear just after um, that title card there. Now at this point my timeline uh, of my video has got quite long so I've got this handy little tool here that I can zoom in and zoom out on so that I can see my timeline in a bit more of a condensed way. Um, so, so far my video has got some title cards and has got some images. Now you'll find that automatically the images will be animated and we'll be able to scroll around the different images to see different aspects of them. So there you go, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to add some transitions next to make it even more effective. So again, we've got all sorts of different transitions that you can use. I'm just going to go for something fairly generic, like a crossfade or a cross blur. So all I need to do is drag and drop that in between each image and in between each title card. That will stitch all of the images and all of the title cards together quite nicely and give it a real sort of professional edge. Okay, so the last thing that I'll do is put a fade to black, I think, there. Okay, so at this point, again, it's just a, a mixture of images and title cards uh, and backgrounds. So I want to add some uh, some actual, you know, uh, some facts and some educational content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, voiceover element of um, iMovie. 
Now I can use the voiceover element by just tapping on this button here and that will show me how well my voice is being picked up. And when you're ready, you simply press record and it will record over the top of the work that you have already done. Welcome to my Battles Timeline video. The Battle of Hastings was fought on the 14th of October 1066 between the Norman French army of William, the Duke of uh, Normandy, and the Anglo-Saxons under the rule of King Harold Goodwinson. The Battle of Boyne happened in 1690. And this was between the forces that opposed King James II against the new King and Queen of England and Scotland, King William III and Queen Mary II. The Battle of Waterloo occurred on the 18th of June 1815 near Waterloo in Belgium and was part of the Napoleonic Wars. There you go, so I've added a nice voiceover over the top of my video. And just to finish everything off, I'm going to go ahead and add some music uh, in the background. So at the top I've got audio, this connects to my uh, iTunes library, and I can choose any music at all to put underneath my voiceover. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the JTRS music here. And then from there, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on my voiceover track. I'm going to click on this speaker here and I'm going to choose to lower the volume of the rest of the uh, clips whilst my voiceover is going. So in other words, this means that basically the music will dip right down so that you can hear what I'm saying. Let's have a little watch of the video. Welcome to my Battles Timeline video. The Battle of Hastings was fought on the 14th of October 1066 between the Norman French army of William, the Duke of uh, Normandy, and the Anglo-Saxons under the rule of King Harold Goodwinson. So there you go. That's how you can put together a very effective video in uh, a matter of minutes uh, just by using some of the drag and drop features that you'll find on iMovie.